Hey guys, it's Shannon. So today I'm going to be sharing with you how I added chalkboard art to our new coffee bar. The surface I'm adding the chalkboard art to is actually just the wall. We treated it with two coats of a Rust-Oleum chalkboard paint. A great tip is to sharpen your chalk. I used my workshop pencil sharpener, but you could use a regular pencil sharpener as well. And then just sharpen your chalk and then you'll have a nice point for creating your design. To find the chalkboard designs, I sort of hunted Pinterest and Google to find some fun fonts and designs that were also used on other coffee bars and when I found this hot and fresh daily I had to absolutely add this just for the fact of the daily in my logo and my name which is daily DIYer so this one was a must. Of course there was a lot of erasing going on so when I would create a design that wouldn't work I just took a wet washcloth and dry towel to erase the design and dry it off and then I would start over again. Then I just had fun adding some designs. I would sort of draw lightly a design I would like and then go back and add some thicker parts and then take my finger and run it along the thicker parts of the chalk to smear it out and give it a nice chalkboard look. And then I would go back in again with a sharper, more uh, blunt line to define those designs. I am a huge Ray Dunn fan, so the Mug Life hashtag was something fun for me to add to it and a little picture of a coffee mug. And then once my main designs, like the Hot and Fresh Daily and this little design here was added, I went back with some flourishes and swirl designs to sort of fill in any empty spaces. So here you can see me adding some of that flourish detail and I made it thick where I wanted it, went back in and smeared the chalk and then created that more blunt line after the chalk was smeared and it was very easy to just erase lines that I didn't want, let it dry and then come back in and add some more detail. If you are interested in handmade, one-of-a-kind, custom wood signs and home decor, you can check out my Etsy shop, which I will have linked down in the description box below. so much fun creating this project. All the chalkboard detail really did give this a very finished look and I am so happy with the outcome. I hope that this tutorial inspired you. If it did, give it a thumbs up. You can also share this video with your friends and family and inspire them too. If you don't already, you can find me on social media where you'll see behind the scenes and sneak peeks of my projects that I'm currently working on. 
as well as upcoming projects. So I will link my Facebook and my Instagram in the description box below. Hit that subscribe button. I do DIY tutorials every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And you can hit the bell as well so that you get notified when my videos do go live. If you enjoyed this DIY tutorial, I will have another great tutorial linked at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. And thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.